Animal Health Clinic in Baton Rouge is extending a helping hand to health care workers working tirelessly by offering them free services. But daycare for dogs, especially cats, maybe not so much. Uh, dogs, especially, I mean, they do get bored. And then if these people that are working on the front lines are called in to work 12 hour, 14 hour shifts, that is going to create behavioral problems in your dog. Veterinarian Dr. Clarence Hackett says during this pandemic, there is no current research on if the novel coronavirus can infect our pets. As of this time, we, there's no substantiated proof of that. Uh, and it comes through on a daily basis through all our, our affiliates talk about do our pets carriers of the disease COVID-19. Uh, nothing substantiated at all about that. Of course, there's a lot of uh, publicity about the tiger situation, uh, but at this point, there's nothing confirmed. There, at, wor at worst, there probably could be a fomite where they could be carrying the, the, the virus on their body to some degree. The facility is also thinking of safety by offering a pet taxi for pickups and drop-offs. Dr. Hackett says knowing this is one less thing for pet owners on the front lines to worry about. Anything that we can do both here at Animal Health Clinic as well as Pets Plaza to provide transportation, free boarding and all of that, we're anxious to do that for those first responders and people that are in need. Crystal Whitman, NBC Local 33 News. Now for more tips on how to help keep your pets safe, we have information posted for you on this story on our website. That's BeOurProud.com.